Hey everyone, um, haven't made a Minecraft video in a while, um, so hope you're all really excited about what I'm about to show you guys. Um, oh shit. Well, hello there. That's a bad enough cave. Okay, Spider Chop, you go with that. Alright, I'm just gonna. I don't know where the hell he spawned from. Thank God I saw him. Oh, how embarrassing would that be? Oh, man. Anyway. Anyway. Oh, dear Jesus. Um. Uh, I've been playing on this world since about 1.8. I've never shown it to you guys. Um, but lately I've been doing some exploring and some different things. I originally needed melon seeds, uh, for melons, which I have one left of because, uh, I've been down here for a while. Um. But in the process, I found a cave spider spawner, and rather than destroying it, I realized the potential for experience points that these offer. And so, um, I built a pretty simple mob trap, and one problem that I, well, it's not, I don't know necessarily if it's a problem or not, but um, one interesting thing about this world is that I cannot find any slimes. Um, I've looked in caves, um, there's very few caves that go down, uh, really deep, and I know that in Minecraft 1.0, you don't need a really deep cave, um, it just needs to be below 40, and I, for the life of me, can't find any. Uh, I looked on, uh, the Slime Hunter applications, um, the Slime Finder, uh, mod would not install for me. Um, not that it would install, because you manually install it, but, uh, it wouldn't, it wouldn't work. It would crash Minecraft. So, I don't have any, um, the ability to make sticky pistons, and so I can't really automate... Oh god, there's a skeleton. Son of a gun. Where are they coming from? Let's just, let's just clog these tubes. That's fine. Wow. Holy crap. Um, anyway, most of the automated, uh, crusher designs, um, what you have is a sticky piston, which pushes out a, a block, and then, um, it crushes them right, in, right, uh, up until they die. And then it pulls it back, and then you can hit them, and it, um, since you have to physically hit, uh, an enemy for them to drop experience points, um, you can't crush them all the way. And so, uh, the reason this is useful is because you can not use a sword. Because if they're one hit away from dying, you can hit them with a dirt, whatever. Um, and so not having any slimes, I tried to build, uh, kind of an alternate setup. Um, the first time, if, if I had re thought to record it, you would all laugh your asses off. Um, basically, um, the, the spiders will glitch through blocks, and so they all glitched through, um, this guy here, and then they popped out, and there was about 35 spiders running around in the room poisoning me. So that was pretty horrible. Um, but I've since improved the design. It's pretty good. Um, I call it the poor man's crusher. And it works terribly, and so I'll show you guys exactly what the problem is, and maybe somebody can offer some input or advice, um, or use it as the basis. So basically, it uses two pistons instead of one sticky piston. They're just regular pistons, obviously. Um, I'm sorry, four pistons. There's pistons underneath these guys. Let me take that and show you. And basically, they're just identical. I'll try not to get too close in there. I'll leave that open. Why the hell not? And it's the same thing on this side. Um, basically the idea is that when you press this button over here on this gravel, um, it sets off the two pistons, and it also sends a signal down this line of repeaters, which are all set to the last delay, um, and then that sets off these pistons over here, and pushes those blocks back, um, ideally to, uh, release the spiders back into the hole, but I'll show you guys what happens. So they start getting crushed like normal, but then they, they all 
and then you get the drops, which is pretty cool, but they get stuck in the wall, which is very strange. Very strange indeed. Um, one benefit to this design, this, this little tube for, for creating, for kind of capturing the spiders. Um, I've seen a lot of designs where folks have like a piston to block off the, the water flow and prevent more spiders from going in. Um, so that you don't get spiders getting mixed up with the ones that are being crushed. Um, things like that. Um, I feel like this is a case of, you know, NASA spending millions and millions of dollars inventing a pen that you could use in space, and then the Russians just use a pencil. Um, my solution is just, let's put some dirt, which is fine. Um, normally these guys will jump up. Hold on, I'll show you. Um, when you get a bunch of them in here, when they start jumping, I guess, um, I guess it takes a little bit, but they'll eventually jump up here. They usually do it on their own, and they kind of get up here in the corner. Come on. There they go. So that's fine. Um, and then I just block it off with some dirt. Uh, you may be wondering, how do you get the, how do you intend to get the drops after they die? Well, that's what these are here for. You just kind of suck up those drops, and you're good to go. Um, you can still obviously just punch them. Uses up a lot of hunger, though. Um, it, or at least it seems like that. These guys are pretty horrible. Uh, Probably my least favorite mob. Um, I'm just going to use my sword. And then the XP comes flowing in. Not a whole lot. Um, I really don't need string or spider eyes, so I'm just going to let that go. Um, if anybody can think of a reason, well, I guess the reason why this doesn't work, um, is because in the process of pushing that other block back, it also pushes the spiders. Which I'm a little bit... I don't really understand that. So, um, I have another mob trap, uh, which is relatively far away, and I don't really want to go out there. Um, with zombies, and it put if it pushes the zombies, the zombies kind of just get stuck in the pistons. So I guess because the spiders are already stuck in a block, um, when the pistons push the block, it pushes the, the spiders as well, instead of just the block, um, which I wasn't really expecting, um, again, because of that experience with the zombies. So I guess if you just want a, kind of a, a string slash, an automated string slash spider eye trap, this is a great design, really effective. Um, not a very effective design as an experience trap, again, because um, it's not automated uh, very well. He's still over there. Look at him. He's determined to get me. Uh, whoop. Oh, son of a gun. You cheeky bugger. Get that XP. Sweet, sweet XP. Oh boy, and I'm about to die of hunger. Okay, that's just... Alright, that's good. Um, yeah, so um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you have any ideas, suggestions, etc. Um, I'd love to try them out, see what's, what's going on. Thanks a lot, guys.